you're not going to love what you do until you're good at it. See, there are a lot of people on a job they don't like. You know, and they go to work every day. You know, it's Monday morning. You know, why do you keep doing that? You know, if you don't like it, either get good at it or do something else. But they're in the prison, and the prison is here. See, I've never done that. See, I developed myself to a point where I started taking jobs. I used to walk in companies with the car dealerships, and I would walk in there and look at offices. And you ask, can I help you? He said, no, you be a selfish. Now, my goal is I'm waiting on the manager. The manager come over, so I help you now. I'm looking to see what that's going on. <clears throat> well, where I'm working at right now, I'm the top salesperson. I'm thinking about leaving. So I can walk away from it. You know what they would say, come here. I get the job. I just told myself, I'm tired of filling out applications, going on interviews. I want the job. That was the goal. Now, I have people calling me. I don't have to go there. Hey, Tim, are you happy where you're at? I don't know. How much money are you talking about? That's it. But see, we think we go to work for money. You know, we talk about, I'm going to make some money. You don't make money. The U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing makes money. So you're supposed to go to work for satisfaction and experience. That's it. You have to get to the point where you earn your money. That's where you want to live at. See, there are people walking around and coming to schools like this and leaving with MBAs, masters in business. You know what? They're on the side of the road. When you hire me, I have a master's in business. Why is that? That's one. That's one. A students work for B students, B students work for themselves, C students work for the government. You have to learn how to think and how to be creative. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. So there are reasons why you go to a restaurant and it's packed, and you go to another one and it's empty. There's a reason why. I don't care what it is, it can be a club. One's packed, one's empty. You go to McDonald's, it's packed. You go over here to this other place, it can be taco smoothie, it's empty. Well, one reason is they got healthy food. Most people don't eat healthy food. <laughs> another reason is it's more expensive, isn't it? It's more expensive to eat healthy. This is the thing. Let me ask you a question. What if you saw somebody putting sugar in your car? You heard a noise. You look out the window and you see somebody with a bag. And they're looking at you in the window. What would you do? <laughs> scared to say it, ain't you? You're on camera now. You're scared to say what you do. Where is my? <laughs> Over rock at You see what I'm saying? But you know what? We call our body a temple. What do we do? <laughs> Put all kinds of sugar. Get that cake, the pies, soda. See, the things I'm telling you is funny, but I'm telling you this because this is what it takes to be a leader. This is what it takes to be successful. The healthier you are, the better you are. So you can have all the money in the world, but if you're laying in the bed, are you going to watch somebody else spend it? You see what I'm saying? The more unhealthy you are, you actually lose brain cells. Most people don't know this. You see what I'm saying? I am talking about success and greatness. If you want to start your own business, work for a company, and move up, you're going to need to have some good memory, have clarity. When you come in, oh. Slept all night. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and you're tired. Slept for eight hours. I rarely sleep eight hours. Wake up 4 4 30. The whole day, I'm train going down here with no brakes. All day, every day. I had a guy that used to mess with me. Worked at a car dealership. They were closed on Sunday. I went to work on Sunday. The gates were closed. I sat on the porch. People would come up because on Sunday they didn't want to be barred. I would go out there and give them a business card. They ain't got any questions left anymore. On Monday, I would sell three cars. Had a guy walk up to me and say, man, how you working for That lady said you were here yesterday. I said, yeah. She said, we were closed. I said, no, you were closed. I was open. <laughs> I told him. And he kept kind of, you know, like messing with me. I said, let me tell you something. I do more work when you're asleep than you do when you're awake. But it's the truth. It wasn't just a nice saying. Because all of these quotes you hear, do something great, be great, all this stuff, well, they're okay. But do you know the levels to get there? That's what it takes. Do you embody them? I do. Whatever impress is expressed. 